In the st I want to talk a bit about the status cards. In the upcoming year, the laminated status cards that are currently issued by Six Nations Lands and Membership will be phased out. The supply of cards to the membership office has been reduced. Currently, the membership office does not have any available. Uh, they are expecting to get some more, though, from Indian Affairs. Indigenous and Northern Affairs Canada has also amended the identification that is required to obtain a status card. The new identification required is one government-issued ID that reflects how you are registered in the Indian Registry System, excluding your status card. Uh, no birth certificate is required for an adult. An original or copy of long-form birth certificate is required with your child's application to confirm um, per parentage. Acceptable identification includes driver's license, enhanced or regular, passport or nexus, card, provincial identification card, and uh, photo health card. You must also supply two passport pictures when applying. The wait time for cards has been reduced from four months. If your card expires within this year, please contact Kyleen Williams at 519-751-6462 to assist with processing your application. She will inform you what will be required prior to your visit with the Indian Affairs Office. You can apply for your card at the following locations. Indian Affairs, which is the Southern District Business Centre at 58 Dulusi Street, Brantford, N3T 5W5, or Indian Affairs Ontario Regional Office, which is 8th floor, 25 St. Clair Avenue East in Toronto, M4T 1M2. You can also print an application for the Security uh, Certificate of Indian Status Card from https colon slash slash www.aadnc hyphen aandc dot gc dot ca slash eng. The laminated cards can also still be used for identification if you are using land uh, crossings to get into the United States. They cannot, however, be used if you are traveling by air or boat. You can also call Lands and Membership at 519-445-4613 if you need more information. Lands membership have also asked us to let you know that Indian Affairs uh, is hosting an estates workshop on Thursday, October 26, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Seneca Room at Dajo, 1738 Fourth Line in Ashwigan. The purpose of the workshop is to provide general information about the importance and advantages of estate planning and completing wills, and to encourage you to think about your estate and to write a will and to provide you with information and or awareness of the procedures respecting deceased estates. It will also outline the roles and responsibilities of your administrator or executor. <laughs>